Hey guys, welcome to Game Inform Family. This is Game Inform Mom, and today we are playing The Bunker. This is the second game in our Terror Tober series for 2020. Uh, this is an FMV game by uh, Wales Interactive. Uh, I've never played an FMV, so yeah, this should be uh, this should be interesting. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm assuming we're gonna drop right into a cutscene, so. Here we go. You know, after it loads. Hopefully it's a fast load. Okay, so I really have no idea what we're getting into here. Um, I know that it's a like a psych thriller, so <clears throat> we'll see. I don't even know how to play an FMV game. I mean, like, are they are they point and click or I don't even know. <laughs> You've got to say it again, John. You can't leave me alone, Mum. Stick to the routine, I'll be safe. As long as I'll I always be here. Stay in our rooms, I'll be safe. As long as I don't go outside, I'll be safe. That's it. Good boy. <coughs> what time is it? Bleeding time, Mum. Yes. Okay. We'll read Treasure Island. <laughs> I 
he was concealed by the time <coughs> behind another trunk. I think my kid watched. <coughs> <coughs> Mom is dead. Now what? Okay. Like, I don't, I don't know if I can talk. Because I don't know if it's like a cutscene. Or if it's, you know, not. So I'm just gonna be talking whenever I'm talking and I'll stop talking when they talk, I guess. Okay, can we turn the radio on? I need to take my vitamins first. I don't care about your vitamins, John. I wanted to turn the radio on. Sorry, vitamins. My vitamin B level is low. How do you know your vitamin B level is low? I wonder if my radiation level is safe. Is that this? You mean the one I tried to do first? Oh my. Radiation is just over 70 MR. That's acceptable. How is that a radiation test? John, you live a boring life, bro. Okay. Is there supposed to be anybody out there? Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Regional government, Davies Roberts operating system. System? Okay. Oh, Survivor's one. He's it? How I... Bunker radiation is normal. Alright then. 
mean, it hasn't been. Well, I guess it said. I think when when Mum died, it had been ten thousand. What delights do we have today? Ten thousand some now. So I guess. What's that? A thousand days. So like three years. Peas and carrots, I suppose. Yum. So that makes twenty-seven years. Three months and fourteen days of food left. Wow. Okay. Cool. So we're just gonna sit on the pot while we eat. Oh god. Oh, please don't tell me that her body is like. St okay. Oh, oh god, it is. Dude. The drawing I did for Mum. I need to read to mum. Oh, honey, you don't need to read to mum. The fan should be set in operation as soon as the shelter is occupied and the outside doors closed. It should be closed down immediately following the attack to prevent the filters blocking due to the air following the blast wave being contaminated with dust particles both from the ground and from any falling buildings. These particles will not be re radioactive. Similarly, the ventilation should be shut down when the fallout is expected. Oh my god. Radiation is nearly ATMR. It's increasing. Well, I mean, I have a feeling that, you know, there was some sort of nuclear attack, bro, so I mean, I'm not surprised. Although it's been over 30 years. Well, maybe not since the attack. They might have gone in the bunker early. Okay. Everything's still going okay. Seven years, three months, and thirteen days left. What do I do? Eat one can of food a day? We had a dreary morning's work before us, but there were no sign of any wind, and the boats had gone out and manned and the ship wrapped three or four miles around the corner of the island and up around the narrow passages to the haven behind Skeleton Island. I volunteered for one of the boats where I had. All right, I'd just like to point out that this guy is freaking creepy. With his dead mum wrapped up on the bed.
I mean, like, can he not even, like, eject her body out of the room? What the? How many days are we gonna do this? What's this guy's name? John? We'll go over here now. Radiation is over 80 MR. What an MR is. Bro, you've been doing this for 30 years. You ain't found nobody. What makes you think you can find somebody today? Get interesting. Come on, John, get your book. Okay. Thought the game crashed or something. So we have some easy trophies. The second silver trophy. The procedural manual. Where is it? In there with Mum. Oh. This has never happened before. Well, you ain't got time to you ain't got time to play with your toys, man. Where's the manual? Oh, there you go. The manual. Make announcement that mains that mains power is being shut down for maintenance. Find the fuse box in the storage room, level two. I ain't gonna remember this. Find the fuse box level two. Find the fuse box level two. Yeah, put no dude, put your toy down. You don't need that. Mum. My favorite aid took ages to make the arms. I need to find the fuse box on level two. Alright dude, so you can open the door. Why on earth is your mum still in the room on the bed? Which I'm nasty so. Oh, that's mom's room. No, we don't want to go to mom's room. What's all this racket? I mean, dude, you gotta do it, man. Hang on, who killed the 58 other people? It's locked. Um, okay. Where's the manual? I don't need the manual. I need a key, dude. I don't need new underwear right now. 
Oh, cool. Found your underwear drawer. My old diary. Today it is my birthday, and I have had extra peaches, my favourite. And there was a candle. Mum gave me this book and some pens. Look, here are the colours. Vera sang me a ring a ring of roses. She said she was crying because she is happy. It's my birthday. And then she and PJ and Louie and Mum sang me happy birthday, but not too loud. I blew out the candle. This book is going to be my book about my friends. Today I will start a new friend. He will look like this. Okay, we ain't got time for this, bro. I mean, I'm gonna pull out the manual, but we don't need the manual right now. Unless it tells me another way to get to the second floor. The manual. I have a feeling this is just the same thing we already saw, though. Yeah, it is. Find the fuse box level two. Find the fuse box level two. I'm not sure I can do this. Uh, so I don't understand then. So the only th the only two things I can do in the room. Or in the hallway. I mean, it's you locked. Where's jam the key? that thing in there or something. Is it in the room with mom? I don't think there's anything else in that room. Oh, see, now it'll let us open the drawers. I remember drawing these. I don't care what your drawings, John. There's a key right there. <clears throat> The key. Now I have to leave. I mean, you don't look surprised that the key was there, dude. Why didn't you just tell me there was a key in here? What the heck? Oh. Well, those are my toys. Level two should be up, bro. And I've taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it out. out. Fourteen months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make 14. And bare minimum means? I didn't like to press him, but... Scurvy, Ricketts... Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. <sighs> Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Fighting over scraps? We could just cut your wrist now and the rest of us will split your rations. Chin up, man. It's 
Ten minutes until the next bulletin. This is very weird. I definitely don't think I will choose to play another FMV. Honestly, it's it's very strange. take this opportunity to go ahead and end the episode here. This has been episode one of our Terror Tober playthrough of the Bonker. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We very much appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day.